When you are around the pickle station, you need to be aware of a few major safety concerns so you protect yourself when you're using the pickle acid. First of all, you should wear a yellow rubber apron because the acid cannot penetrate it. The acid will ruin your clothes. Secondly, wearing rubber gloves will protect your hands. You should also have on safety glasses or goggles to protect your eyes from splashback because the acid would damage your vision. If that were to ever happen, you should immediately go to the eye wash station and rinse your eyes for 15 to 20 seconds. You may get water all over your face and clothes, but it's worth it to save your vision. We would then send you to the nurse right after, and you'd probably need to get checked out in the emergency room as well. So it's really best to wear all the PPE so this doesn't happen to you. The eye wash station is in the classroom immediately to the left of the sink. You also need to use the copper tongs when adding or removing things from the pickle, as they are the only device that will not contaminate the acid. The largest safety concern with the pickle is to make sure to put the lid back on the pickle when you're finished adding or removing your work because the pickle fumes are dangerous. While the pickle does need to be on warm to work, we will always keep the machine on warm because boiling pickle fumes can kill you from the gases emitted. The copper tongs will either be over by the pickle pots or immediately to the right of the sink in the back of the room. Notice there are sponges, scrapers, and toothbrushes there as well each of which need to be used at different times when making the pickle. Okay, we are going to learn how to make pickle. So what you would do is you're going to take the top part of the crock pot out. Probably a good idea to pull the unit out before you do that or you're going to hit the ceiling like what I just did. You are going to then take this crock pot over to the sink and fill it up to about an inch from the top with water. So I'm gonna take this crock pot over the sink. I'm gonna turn on the warm water. The warm water is actually going to dissolve the pickle granules faster. So you wanna make sure that you're using warm water as you fill this. And you can tell, I'm gonna turn the cold on just a little bit so it doesn't get too hot on me. But I do wanna fill it up to about an inch below the top so that it's got enough pickle solution for everyone. I now want to put that back into the container. Again, I'm going to pull the actual unit out. I'm going to put the carafe with the water inside it. And then I'm going to have to take the pickle solution, which is way back here. So I'm going to take the pickle solution out from the back. And I'm going to take the lid off. And you can see that it's granular in here. And if it's actually solidified like this, we're going to have to chop it up and you're going to need to put a mask on to do that. So I made sure that I'm putting a mask on. I'm going to have to actually go in and chop at the granulars that are in here. I should also put gloves on. I'm gonna wait until after I'm done chopping to do that. When I add the granulars to the water, I wanna make sure I have gloves on and then I need to stir it around before I can put my pieces in. I just found a scraper. I'm actually going to take the scraper inside here and I'm going to chop at the pickle a little bit so that I can get enough particles to actually use for the pickle. I went and put the scraper away and now I'm going to actually take my little scoop and I'm going to scoop two full scoops of the granular into the water and I dumped it from above. Remember you're adding acid to water like we did in chemistry and I'm making sure that I have uh, my safety glasses on. I do still have my mask on and actually I forgot there to put on my gloves. So what I want to do is I'm putting on plastic gloves so that I don't get any of this splashed back at me. So here I'm taking the second scoop, putting the second scoop into the water and then I'm going to take a copper tongs and I'm going to just mix this a little bit until the granular solution is completely just a liquid solution. So I used warm water to dissolve those granules faster. So that would be making pickle. You would want to put the cover back on the actual pickle container and then you're going to put it back in the back. I'm actually going to move the pickle back first before I do that. Thank you. 
I do want to make sure that I'm covering the pickle and I would again only want it on warm. It didn't actually turn on because I don't have it plugged in. So notice as I'm making this, I also have the unit unplugged. I'm going to put the pickle granules back and then I would have made my pickle. The nickel pickle is made the same way. Again, you're going to want to turn it on when you're using it, turn it off when you're done and make sure that you're not standing over it. What I want you to see is the difference is the nickel pickle is yellow and the regular pickle is clear. So it's been 10 minutes. So I'm going to put my safety glasses back on. Again, that PPE, our safety PPE we want to put on. I have to put on my gloves. And uh, I'm going to take a copper tongs to get my piece out of the pickle. I'm going to take the lid off. Make sure that you're staying away from it too. You notice how I'm not putting my head over the top of uh, the pickle container. I'm going to drain like... The water would actually drain out of it, but I'm gonna pour a little bit of it out of there too. As soon as I get that done, I'm going to put the piece in my hand. I'm gonna put the draining pickle container back in the bucket. And then I'm actually gonna take a toothbrush and I'm just gonna brush on my metal here. And what I want you to see is when I take the toothbrush, when I take the toothbrush and I rub across here, it's actually taking the rest of that residue off. So I'm just gonna do that again. It's on the smaller part. It might be kind of hard to see, but I take the toothbrush and it wipes that part off. I need to do the same thing on the back side. If this was a final piece and it was my piece of jewelry, I'd wanna make sure all the fire scale got off my piece. So once it's clean like that, now I'm gonna take it over to the sink and I wash it, and then I'm going to dry it with a cloth. I washed my piece. Here I actually have that cloth and I did label mine with a C. You can do the same thing if you want to. I'm gonna just dry this off. Someone annealed this, which is why it had fire scale on it, but I just cleaned it off. I need to make sure now that I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take the lid to the pickle. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna turn the pickle off because I'm done using it for the day. So at the end of the hour, whoever was using the soldering torches for annealing or soldering, you need to make sure that you're turning off the pickle and taking care of the soldering booths as well. Again, we wanna make sure that our entire area is nice and clean so that the next class can use it. One of the other things we have to think about with the pickle is sometimes it gets contaminated and we have to change it out, which means we'll have to be neutralizing the acid solution that is in the pickle. To neutralize the pickle acid, you will need to use baking soda, otherwise known as sodium bicarbonate. There should normally be a container immediately to the right of the sink. Once you open the lid, you will find a bag that contains a scooper ready for you to neutralize the acid. If there's no bucket near the sink, there should be more baking soda located in the cabinets above the pickle. In order to open the baking soda, you're going to need to take something strong and stick it between where the cap comes off and this bottom portion. So you can just take something in there and snap it open. I just used the back of a spoon to do that. So I'm just gonna pull this back out and pull it around. I actually have to undo the whole container before I can get the top off. And you probably want to take the top off before you put your gloves on to protect yourself. If it's a brand new bag, you're also going to need to cut off the zip tie that they put inside here. There is a tiny little scooper inside here as well. We really want to be using the big blue scoopers rather than these tiny ones, but we are going to save the tiny ones for other things. So please give this to your instructor if you open a new bucket. So right now, what we are going to do is we're going to lift out the regular pickle and we're going to show you how to neutralize that so that you can make more. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I want to make sure that the pickle pot is unplugged and I'm going to lift it out of where it's at. And then I'm going to take the crock pot out of the part that heats it and I'm going to make sure that there's no pieces inside here. Right now, if I take the lid off, you can actually see that there are still pieces inside the pickle. So I have to take all the draining pickling containers out and I also am going to need to neutralize the solution so that I can make more. 
Once all of the pieces are out of the container and you have placed it in the sink, you can start to neutralize the acid. So now that I have all my PPE on, I have scooped a little bit of baking soda and you can see I just splashed a little bit in there and it was already starting to have a reaction with the acid that is actually in the pickle pot. So I wanna continue to put baking soda in until I have neutralized my acid to a seven. And I do need to use litmus paper, the testing strips, to make sure that the acid is neutralized. Here you can see two pieces of litmus paper that have been used to test the acid. The one on the right shows a test before the acid was neutralized. You can see how the paper turned red, meaning it has a pH of zero or is very acidic. Once enough baking soda is in the solution and it becomes neutralized, another piece of litmus paper was immersed in the pot which turned green, meaning it is a seven and is now neutral. Once it's neutralized like that, I can actually dump it down the sink. So I'm gonna continue to put little bits of baking soda in here and I don't want it to bubble over. Ooh, that one was a little bit close. So you can see I have a little at a time that I'm using in order to neutralize the acid that's in the pickle pot. As I'm saying this, right now I have one scooper full. It's probably going to take at least two and it might take more depending on how much pickle was in the pot when it got contaminated. I can also take a copper tongs and mix this up. It actually helps the baking soda dissolve faster and I'm going to put more and more in until I see that there's no reaction and here you can tell it's still kind of bubbling so it's still neutralizing the acid that's in there I'm going to take my glove off just for a second to actually test so I'm going to dip it in here and you can actually see it's turned green as opposed to the red that I showed you earlier this is neutralized enough that I can dump this down the sink so I'm gonna make sure that my gloves are still on. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna dump it. And then I'm going to rinse out the container before I make new pickle. This is also why it's really important that you always use copper tongs in the pickle. There is a strainer in the sink the sink will actually drain a lot better if you take the strainer out. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to make sure this drains all the way. I just want to make sure there's nothing actually in the sink that's affecting it from draining. So now that the pickle pot is completely clean, I can actually go and refill it like I showed you how to make the acid solution for the pickle earlier.